welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a kind of quick makeup look I came up with this really bright summer look which I love and I am again using my California roll palette from the wet and wild Silver Lake collection I know that some of you haven't been able to get your hands on these um, I will try to find links to places where you can possibly buy them. I know that eBay sells them, they might be a little bit pricey, but you don't have to use this specific green that I'm using today on the lid. Just feel free to use whatever green color you have and then just kind of customize it to your needs. So yeah, if you guys want to know how to get this really nice summer makeup look, then just keep on watching. I'm starting off with my NYX base in the color Skin Tone and I'll be applying that all over my lid. Now I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild single eyeshadow in the color Creme Brulee and I'm just going to set that um, powder or the, what do you call it, the base that we just applied. But I'm not going to apply it to my crease because we are going to be using another base. So I'm just going to apply it pretty much to the brow bone and a little bit on the crease, but not on the lid. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk. I'm going to take it on a flat brush like this and apply it on the lid, but I'm not going to bring it too high up this time. Our first eyeshadow is going to be this this green one right here. It's a really nice lime green. This is from the Wet n Wild Silver Lake Collection. This is in California Roll. Taking an e.l.f. blending brush and applying that all over the lid. Now I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow right here. This is Bella Cappuccino by Milani. Now I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow by ColourPop Cosmetics. This is in the color Bandits. It's a really nice, like dark brown almost. And I'm gonna take that on a flat brush and apply it to the crease. And I'm going to go back to that brush with no additional products. We'll replace the Milani um, eyeshadow and I'm just going to blend out any harsh edges that I may have created. Now I'm going to take a shimmery white eyeshadow and place it underneath the brow bone to give it a little bit more dimension. It doesn't matter what you use, whatever you have, works just fine. And I'm going to apply that all over here. And I'm going to blend it a little bit too, just again so there are no harsh lines. Now I'm going to take a shimmery shade and apply it as a tear duct highlight. Again, use whatever you have. So I applied my lashes and my eyeliner. I'm going to go back into this eyeshadow by ColourPop Cosmetics. And again, that same brush. And I'm going to be applying this all over the lower lash line, just smoking it out. I'm going to go back into that green and apply it at the inner corner of the eye just a little bit. I'm 
I'm gonna apply mascara and this is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara to the bottom of my lashes. So I've already applied my um, concealer, my foundation and set everything. I will have it list down below so you guys know what I used. But I'm gonna go in with this little um, contour duo. This is by the brand Nikki Garrett's and it comes with a contour and a highlight side. This is so pretty. I'm going to take an e.l.f. angled blush brush and I'm going to take the darkest color and I'm going to be pretty much just chiseling out my cheekbones. I'm going to take some to my jawline. And I'm also going to take that up to my hairline. So I'm not going in with a blush today. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a really nice bronze. I'm going to use Bombshell Bronze in the Style Siren by BH Cosmetics. This is just going to give me a really nice, um, like a sheer glow. I'm going to go in with the highlight that comes in this dual palette and I'm going to use an e.l.f. blush brush and I'm going to be applying that to the highest points of my cheekbones. I'm also going to take that to the forehead because I am wearing a foundation that's going to keep me matte. I'm actually not worried about looking like a ball of grease. Down to the bridge of my nose. Cupid's bow. My chin. So to finish off the look, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Sugar Plum Fairy Color. And it's a really nice purple mauve type of color and we are going to just apply this all over the lips and I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm gonna wear a lip gloss. And because I fill in my lips like a five-year-old, I'm going to go in and clean it with concealer. So after that, you are done with this look. I know that it's really bright. Um, obviously, you can totally change the lipstick to a nude color. But you guys know that I like crazy colors in my face. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.